Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am Gilmore, and this is my Adam Zombie Smasher Let's Play. You may realize I uh, almost immediately after the last episode. So, cool. I'm just experimenting with different things right now. I've got a new mic set up, which you might have heard in the last episode. I think I sound a little bit better, a little bit closer, and a little bit more tender. Um, also, I'm using... I'm splitting up my videos differently. I've got a stopwatch running, and I feel like a good about 20-minute episodes, pretty good. That's what most uh, Let's Play people seem to do, so I think I like that. Um, hey, we're getting faster Zed in this level, though. We got mines and the snipers and the brain gas. Oh God, they get to why did they get that? I don't know. Four scientists here, a bunch of level two areas, some level one areas. I still, I love taking the level one areas because they're so, they're so easy. I mean, some, I mean, they're easier, so I like taking the territories as opposed to just re removing them. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, I think this one's probably plays a little more, although this one's right next to a level four. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That one's right next to, it's right next to the same level four. Look at this. This is probably going to be pretty easy. We got this gas main here, so that's... I don't want to mess with that too much. I'm just going to set up some uh, mines over here. Actually, you can set up mines so they're pretty close together. Um, I'm going to just set up the mines so that they'll take care of this entire section here. So I won't have to worry about that. And then the sniper wolves can just go... The wolf snipers can just go sit there and shoot right at that thing. Hopefully none of the zombies will explode spontaneously. I even got some brain gas so I can lure them into the minefield or I can keep them in the section where the zombies or the sniper wolves are going to be shooting. I think I think we got this, you guys. Let's, let's do it minute on the clock. I can slow down time if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Seconds, wolves. I think there's only the three Z left. Yeah. Green gas got an upgrade. Range up, lifetime up, or reload time up. I, I like reload time. Let's get that. Feels good to capture a There's people cheering for you and you get the nice music going. Oh, and look at that, I got four little twenties. Alright, so they're getting a little bit more points on it, but wait for it. You just wait. Uh, these big guys are getting worse. For months we were in this information of the physical summit and the existence of mega zeds. Feeling pretty low right about now. Oh my god, this is way too late. I saw this one already. This animal's going after another chick. Before outbreak. That's lame. So, for this next level, I'm gonna have Cousin Fest, of 
course. The hulking bore is the blower uppers and the brain gas. So, the blower uppers and the brain gas is a pretty deadly combination, and also the um, artillery and the brain gas as well. So, I think I'm going to go after a level 1 zone again, because I really want to shut off this level 4 here. Prevent the outbreak from spreading any more than it has to. We got some brain gas, we got some artilleries. I think I got a minute on the clock. Uh, I really Oh god, we're gonna have the big the big fellas are gonna be here, but they are affected by the brain gas, so that's pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just plonk down some brain gas somewhere here. Lure all the Zeds right over into this place. Hope, maybe, maybe hopefully there's a big guy here. He'll knock down a building because that's what they do. They just knock down all the buildings. If they're near like one of these things, they'll blow it up. And then... Um, and all I'll put the brain gas down over here and all the zeds will just come flowing in and then I can blow up my dynamite and I'll just try and keep my hulking boars shooting at this line and uh, so this be helpful. Pleasant pheasant at all, but it upgraded anyway. Arrival time. And that time. Even though there doesn't seem to be many people on the ground, on the loop, but only infected four people. I got silver. Oh god. I can't fit the territory. Oh, this is a great time for me. It can only go downhill from here, you guys. 100 points every round. Even 2,000. Elephant bird. Oh, God. You watch this. Elephant bird is the saving grace of this dire situation I'm in. The elephant bird is a tactical strike that lets you take out... Um, oh, no, that's not the elephant bird. Okay, well, then um, I guess I'll show you the elephant bird inside one of the levels, because we've had the cat bird before. The elephant bird is, it's its own thing. It's just, it's the only mercenary you need for this situation. So we can take out, I'm, I'm betting we can do it. Let's take out this level four zone. Why, why not, you guys? Just watch this. Look at that. We've got this elephant bird cannon. Plonk it down right there. Look how fast they fall. Look how fast Part of the 
five scientists for that. 100 victory points. Oh, my God. Bronze rating. Yes. But it was my first time with the elephant. Pretty good. This is level four for outbreak zone. Yes. Shut off. I would not want to live in any of these territories, but that's fine. And we look at that. Slower, slower movement. We got some pleasant pheasant defense. Oh, oh this is going to be a great one. I, I bet I can take out a pumpkin. Oh, 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 God, no. Better get some research points. So I want I mean, like to take some more level one zones. Just to make sure I'm getting a little bit of XP from everybody. Once once I get the um, oh man, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, it's good. It's, they call it a, a bio a extinction level bio weapon. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's gonna take out the territories. I'm not gonna have to do any work. Um, it's just it's gonna be just that good. Look at this. Bill's defense line, I can route all the Zeds right here. And hopefully Hopefully I got a decently long day time, so I don't need to worry about running out of daytime. I'll set up these snipers here. Purely at this lane, because that's going to take the longest to get around. So I have to drop this. I'm gonna put that away in the center there. Let's do it. Oh my god, I forgot about the giants. Usually we get multiple giants, but we got the stone now. Any respect for anything. They don't, they don't actually take any damage from any zombies, so I can just, I can just run them right into here. I don't want them to shoot at the big guy. Probably my own. this time. Uh, watching the shuttle launch of the Bonobo on the television, Smith jokes. I hope it blows up. The 
Bonobo explodes during launch. Smith doesn't leave his room for nine days. Well, he's a jerk. He's a womanizer, and I don't really mind that he doesn't leave his room for nine days. Looks like there's only one level one territory there anymore. Um, we got the lower uppers, the landmines, and the hulking boars. That's going to be pretty good for taking out those giant sets. So I'm actually kind of kind of intrigued about trying to take out two territory, but maybe I should just go for the safe route. I mean, explosives are not that accurate, so I might not be able to do it. We got faster zeds, so I may not be able to catch them with my explosives. Let's let's try. So let's try a level two and level three. That'll become a level four really easily. Try and spread over into this room, so yeah, let's do that. Um, oh, the nice thing about this is I don't know if it'll reach that, but we got this thing here. No, we're not gonna go over there. We got some mines that I can set up. So I've got that, my cannon, my artillery shells. Let's try and pull all these scientists in. Hopefully I can remember to use this, and then when these blow up, they'll take out some more, and I can... Ugh, crap. That's so Some of the last positions, but I'm going to take this and move it over here. Take, I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it over here. Those um, those demon assholes came. Up. Maybe I'm spreading myself thin here. Let's, let's re completely rethink this. Demon assholes came out of these, and so I'm going to set up my dynamite because that's much more powerful than the mines, I think. I'll take the mines and I'm going to consolidate my mines over here. Um, hopefully people will step on that one. This mine will actually blow up that, that station. I don't think I want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm okay blowing up these two. I think I want to do that actually. For randomness sake, I'll put a mine here. No, you stay there. Okay. Let's figure it out. Together. Alright, the big guys are dead. We're dropping bombs over there.
pretty good. I don't think I should have shelled this area here. I think I should just... I think I should probably just shell this, and then it's going to blow up everything around here. Which means I'm going to move this over to here. actually add that so that it blows up everything in a big sweeping wave and this is going to blow that's what happened so I'll just throw that there maybe we won't blow that up and we'll be able to I'm not going to be able to shell anything over there though mm. give it another go to shell that. Okay. Let's try that. level bioweapon. So I think right at the beginning of next episode I will use that to show you what's what. Um, it's actually kind of hopeless, but um, it should be kind of entertaining anyway. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I know I have, except that this game makes me very anxious. But I uh, will see you for the next one. Hey, Tom, it's Bob from the office down the hall. It's good to see you, buddy. How have you been? Things have been okay.